Welcome to Ibero Star Selection Veradero. Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of this hotel and resort so you get an idea if you're planning to come here how to get a lay of the land and how to get around. Stay tuned and keep watching. Here we are at the entrance to Ibero Star Veradero Selection. And from here you can see this is the entrance way here and that will bring us into the front parking lot area. So let's go see. And you can see some beautiful palm trees as we come in. On the left hand side this is where you can park if you have a vehicle. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi. <laughs> And you can see I've already made some friends here. And this is the main entrance lobby coming up in front of here. Also, if you want to take some bus trips or if you want to hire one of those private old school taxis, they can pick you up from here as well. And now we enter into the front lobby at this point. It's quite beautiful. They have a little fountain here. And then this is where all the guests will be checking in, in the front lobby area here. And then there's a little lounge area in front of here. And then to the right hand side, <clears throat> this is the lobby bar. So let's go to the lobby bar. Right now it's mid-afternoon so it's not that busy. And if you go around, you can see this is the main lobby bar. It's called Los Arcos. And also, there's a place here, well right now they're cleaning it, but this is where the nightclub entrance is at nighttime, where you can go party and stuff like that. Continuing on from the lobby bar area, right next to it, around the corner here, is the way to the theater. And almost every night they have shows here. You can come have a seat here. I've been taping a few of the shows, so you'll probably see that in this video. <laughs> set up here all the chairs things like that and then behind the theater you can see the first set of pool area coming up this is a little pond first and then off in the distance here it's sort of like the architectural feature kind of pool it's really pretty This is what you'll probably see in all the advertisements. They always show this feature here is really pretty. And it has a little bridge going over the middle. And 
this is a pretty big size pool as well. And then they got a pool bar in the distance here. Go there. And continue on. Oh. And they got some exercises going on in the afternoon. Hacemos una vez más, un, un, un poquito más rápido, so a little, a little bit fast. Y uno, dos, tres, cuatro, one, two, three, and four. Uno, ah, they're teaching dos, them how tres, to do cuatro, salsa. One, two, three, and and then if you need to get towels, they're over here. The clubhouse where you change the towels. And in this room here, you can play pool, you can play some sports, and foosball. Yeah, so they have pool and like a little foosball table in there. I also discovered right behind the room where you have the pool table and the foosball, you also have a little table tennis section here if you want to play table tennis. And then in the middle of the day, you can come eat out here. There's a little outdoor slash indoor restaurant set up here. So if you want to be close, we're getting closer to the beach. So if you want to not make it all the way back to the main dining area and eat, you can eat here. There's also a grill area that they have. It's probably not open now because it's past four in the afternoon, so they'll probably be shut down. But in the daytime, you can come here too. And they usually grill things here. They'll grill some chicken, they'll grill some other food, some rice, things like that. And then you have little picnic benches here. You can sit around and eat. And then this is kind of the route to the beach. In the daytime, sometimes they have shops set up here selling things. You can kind of see it in the distance there. So that one's open, so we'll just take a quick peek at that. See what they have. So if you want some souvenirs, you can get some of these things. You can see these different. Hola! Like little big baseball bats and other souvenirs. Lots of souvenirs. So if you want to buy a souvenir, you can come to this area. You don't really have to leave the hotel. You can get some souvenirs along here. It's quite nice. Little toys and things for little kids to play with. Nice. And there's some paintings over there. And then this is one of two bridges that they have that leads you to the beach, which is where most of us come to enjoy. So let's go take a quick peek at the beach. And both bridges that take you there, they have a little bar at the end. So if you want some drinks on the beach, you can get some drinks on the beach. And we will see coming up on the right hand side, they also have a little grill or barbecue area on this particular pathway. In the daytime, they make hot dogs, they make hamburgers. Um, so if you feel like eating too, you have food available, you have drinks available. So this is where they would be grilling in the daytime. That's where the food would be. And this is the bar area.
and they would have treats and stuff over here. And now you see the beautiful beach. You can see this is a pretty big section of beach here. So I'm just going to go closer to the water. It's a little bit windy right now. You're probably hearing that in the video. But you can see the waves are matching accordingly. It's a little later in the day. The waves are usually a lot calmer, but could be change in weather, obviously, depending on the day. So, you can see here, waves are coming in nicely. All of this over here is part of the Ibero Star Beach. All the way to that side over there. So we've got quite a bit of beach that can be used. And it's a beautiful, clean beach. Keep it quite nice as you can see the sand is all nice. They have little picnic benches here. They have those little bed type situations over there. And your old school blue chairs that you always see on your vacations. So it's really nice. Let's go towards the other side to go back up. So now we're going, if we're coming from the water, towards the left side. And we will see the other way out or into the beach from there. And you can see it's a very, very clear day today. No clouds, a nice cool breeze to make up for the heat. So coming up on the right hand side now will be our other way in and out. And you can see this is sort of like a midpoint again. You have the availability to sit on either side of this staircase here and lounge. Okay, so here is our other section here. We'll go up the stairs. Sun right in our face now. <laughs> so you can see here they have a lounging area at the top. A bar kind of area in the lower section here. and an area to wash off as well. You can wash off after you come off the beach. You can lounge over here, they have little swing chairs. You see there the swing chairs, bar area. And now we go back on the pathway. So you can see now, these are the rooms, which are kind of covered by the trees, but we'll keep going so you can see them. And that's the pathway back to the other bridge. So instead, we will go this way now. And to the left-hand side here is all the rooms. You can see each room is numbered as well. So as you're walking, you can find your room number fairly easily. Just look for your room number stone. So all the different buildings will have their different stones. So it's easy to find. And this is like a central garden. All the rooms kind of overlook this garden. And they keep it very, very pretty, very clean. Sometimes you see the gardeners out here, you can ask them for coconuts. They will give you coconuts out here. You can leave them a little tip if you like. And they're very appreciative of that. So you can see this is a little pool kind of thing. Little lake pool thing. And the rooms, they're all colorful. Little villa style buildings. And a little hidden section that comes off of this area is 
this area here. So near building 15, you can turn in here and you have a children's playground area which is actually being used. I came here before and there was nobody here but now there are kids playing it and the pool seems to be up and running which is nice. It's called Star Friends. So if you have little kids you can bring them to this area. We can bring this. Let's go around and see what it looks like from the whole thing all around. Oh wow. It's quite cool and quite wet. Ooh. We have a little crocodile over here. Ooh. Quite lively. So there's lots to do here. So the kids pool area is alive and well. And now we head back out towards the central garden and we'll continue the loop here. So you see more of these pretty buildings along here and we're approaching the one that I'm staying in with my dad which is number 12. So we're getting closer to number 12. And in the distance straight ahead, that will be the entrance lobby area. So our room or our building is not too far from the front. And this here, I believe, on the left hand side, this yellow building is ours. This is number 12. So if you look on the second floor on the left hand side, that is our balcony. So from our balcony, we have the view looking this direction which is nice, a nice central garden view. And this is our room here. When you come in the entrance way, you see the door behind me. You got a safe box here, which works with your room keys. And then we go into the bathroom. You've got a tub over here and you've got a shower in the corner. Up here and you have squeezable soap body gel and conditioner and then we got a nice little decoration here made for us today by the roommate looks really pretty and then you have a toilet and a bidet if you use it and of course your fan let's continue on and then we come into the main room and my dad is here hi dad hey how are you good good that's his bed there and he's got a nice decoration on there today and then this one is my bed and we have an extra bed for fun I'm not sure and then of course you got the balcony in the distance here and this is our balcony 
and the view from our balcony as such. You can see the other buildings where all the people are staying. We have a little pool area there and in the distance you can see the sea through the two buildings over there. If you look right here and see the sea in the distance. And then you can see when you come over here at nighttime when it's dark we just gotta look for our stone which says number 12 and then we know this is our building. So let's continue back on to the front lobby. Ah, on our way to the lobby, this is interesting. This is a map of the whole resort. So we were just in this section here with all the buildings. We've already toured this section here, kind of where all the theater areas and stuff are. Now I'm going to take you down to the other section, which is this area here. But here's the map just so that you can see. I'll come in a little bit closer. And that's kind of the map of the hotel. So we're coming back towards the front where the lobby bar is. Hold on. So if you look here, that's the front lobby bar. That was the nightclub entrance there. And the cool thing also about this place is that it has it set up nicely. You can have your shows at night in the theater, come have a drink in the lobby bar, and then go straight to the nightclub at night and party. So it's like a, everything is very, very close. You don't have to go far. It's a good design, good architectural feature. Oh, speaking of which, here's the tour buses. These ones you can hop on for five bucks for the whole day. They take you into the main Veradero town. So they come here every half hour or so during the day and you can hop on and off these buses. Perfect timing. So now we're back in the same main entrance area and I'm going to take you down a different route this time. So right on the right hand side of the front lobby area this is where you will book your a la carte for the night time. So when you arrive to the hotel and check in, you can come here and book your a la carte from there. Now, if the restaurants are closed at certain times of the day, you have this place here called the Star Cafe. This is open throughout the night. You can get a little snack. You can get something to drink if you need. So there or the lobby bar, you can get a drink from there as well. And there's a couple of little stores here. This one where you can get your alcohol if you want to purchase some drinks. They got your different drinks over here. You can see the different choices of things to buy. And then also they have the cigars at the front as well. And you continue on. Now they have an area here called the Cigar Bar. Honestly, it's been empty the whole time I've been here. And in this area, there's also a little shop where you can get beach stuff as well. So if you want to purchase that, you can go get that. But this Cigar Bar is basically a dead area. <laughs> well, there's also this little section which I didn't even see till now. But it looks like it's closed. Oh wow, this is the inside of the cigar lounge. Looks really nice actually. So it opens up in the evening. That's why when I was here earlier in the day, I couldn't see anything. But this is the cigar bar. Nice. Now here's where you get the a la carte. So this is the first one here, El Bosque Restaurant Gourmet, which is supposed to be, I think, international food. We haven't gone here yet. Last night we did try our first a la carte, which was the Mediterranean one, which is this one right here. It's called La Dorada. 
Restaurante Mediterraneo. So when you book your a la carte, these are your three different choices. That's one, two, and the third one is the Japanese restaurant. So if you come here, you have the choice of Manzoku Japanese restaurant. So these are your three a la carte choices. Oh, and here's another map. Let's have a peek at this. I'll just get this on video just so that you have another map to look at of the resort. And then we'll get back to walking around. So if you continue here, on the left hand side here, you go straight down. That will take you to your buffet area. But before I do that, let's just continue straight for a moment. And just see, this is again the lobby bar. Sorry, not the lobby bar, the pool bar that we saw earlier. And then next to that, there's another pool right here. So you got a pool next to a pool and you got a few walking paths over here. And let's go now towards the buffet restaurant. So if you haven't booked an a la carte, you can come to the buffet for breakfast, lunch, and for dinner. They're open at different hours depending on what time of day it is. I think it's seven to 10 for breakfast. 1 to 3 for lunch and 7 to 10 for dinner, I believe, something like that. So right now, it's just in the afternoon, so they're not obviously open yet. But let's see if I can go in and just take some video. So it's closed right now, but this is kind of it. This is a little bar area. Looks like they're preparing for dinner. Obviously, it'll be a little brighter at dinner time and filled with food, but you have cooking stations along here. You can get some freshly cooked chicken, pork, fish, different kinds of foods along here. And then they have these areas filled with different types of dishes as well. Vegetarian food, salads, and some meat items. They also have bread in this area. And you have lots of places to sit and eat. You can pick and choose. The service is great. They come to you right away. Here's another bar area. Now let's see out here. So if you feel like sitting outside, you can also sit outdoors and eat on these areas. So you get a little patio style. So lots of choice. Now if we continue back out this way, Oh, there's a cat. There's a couple of stray cats that roam the property here. And this is one building. This is building number 20, which is far away from all the other buildings. It's in its own area. Speaking of which, here are some stray dogs, which I've never seen before. They're just running around having a good time. So first, they seem to be happy. Look at them go. Wow. I don't know. It's a little pack of dogs. You never know what you'll see at these resorts. They got some hammocks out here. And it looks like a third pathway to the beach from here. And a little volleyball set up over here. Interesting. But well, we've been to the beach, so let's just continue down back the other way. You've seen the beach already. So let's go down this road here. Ah, this is like the spa area. So this looks like your spa. This I don't believe is included, so if you want all these things, you can come to this spa section. Here's the entranceway to the spa. And it looks like a gym here as well. So this is a gym area. Not sure if it's open or not. Oh yeah. 
Oh, nice. So if you want to do some exercising, they got a gym area here. They got some free weights. They got a little water station. They got some yoga mats. Nice. They got a couple of different machines. Some treadmills. And if you come to the window here and look out the window, you can see a basketball court off in the distance. So you got some sporting areas here. So if you want to play sports, you got some space to do that. And this is the entrance to the spa area. This is the spa. And behind it, today is nice and quiet. Nobody's really here yet. So you can see what it looks like. You got that. And then I'll take a picture of this. So you know the rules. Let's continue on to where this basketball area is. See if we can get a better look at it. And it looks like this is a basketball court and a tennis court. So you can play basketball. I guess one of the rims is missing on this end. So they got soccer, basketball, and tennis court. Okay, I am back again in front of building 20 to where that bridge is. Let's check it out. Let's see what part of the beach this leads us to. This has like a foresty feel to it. And there's something here. A building. Some sort of activities. Oh, it looks like a washroom. And there's something that might be open there. I have no idea. Either way. Interesting. This is quite nice. This is like a shaded area that brings you onto the beach. So, have a look. It's quite pretty. So now I know there's actually three ways to get to the beach. So we are back in the area where the housing villas are. And I discovered a little later on there's actually a fourth way to get to the beach. And it happens to be in between building number 16 and 17. This path right here, if you look around behind you, this is kind of the path that it's on. And I'm going to take you down the fourth way to get to the beach. So let's go. So actually if you're living, or not living, if you're staying in one of these rooms around this area, this is actually the quickest way you can get to the beach. So as you see in front of you coming up, this is the fourth way to get to the beach that I've discovered. And if we stop here for a moment, this is that children's little playground that was there earlier in the video. And this is the pathway to all the other entrance ways to the beach. So let's go this way. It's another pretty walkway. And this is actually a very quick access too. It doesn't take long to get to the beach from this little bridge. And as you can see, we're already at the beach. And you can see off in the distance there's the other pathway onto the beach. These are all your little shades here with your blue chairs. A straight path over here. And some more shades with blue chairs on this side. So this is the easiest way to get to the beach. And as you can see it's a little bit of an overcast day today. But the weather's not bad. 
and you can see everything. So I hope you enjoyed this little video tour of Ibero Star Selection Veradero and it gives you an idea of the lay of the land, how to get around, all the different amenities that are available here. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave any comments for me below at the bottom of the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. And remember to hit the bell button so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.